Hello friends, my name is Dejan Zangir. Here I am discussing the solution of assistant executive engineer for the previous paper. Uh, <clears throat> Next video is coming soon for the solution of assistant executive engineer uh, Telangana that is previous paper. Okay, and coming coming soon solutions are previous year paper of engineering power electronics PS Vimra EMFT Matthew and OCIDQ electromagnetic sounds outline series signal system songs outline series and many more so don't forget to subscribe my channel that is anybody can download education at abcd education okay now to the, uh, uh, about the post in the assistant executive engineer there are the 120 plus 11 post okay uh, this is a research risk uh, Road and building department, and this is in K departments. Okay, and the salary is very, very huge that is in a scale of 37,000 to 91,000 around. Okay, so you have to prepare this for, for this first. Okay, and the syllabus of this uh, uh, examination is that uh, general study, stay study, and general ability that is 150 of 150 <coughs> minutes of 150 marks okay and the uh, professional knowledge that is electrical engineering that is uh, total number of question are 150 and duration is 150 each question is two marks and the total marks is 300 and 50 marks for the entry okay so the total marks in this uh, examination that is 50 500 marks okay now come to the syllabus this is a, this is the syllabus of the general study general ability and this is electrical engineering syllabus for the electrical circuit in this syllabus that is electrical circuits and fields electrical machine power system power con control system electrical and electronic measurement analog and digital electronics power electronics electric drives and utilization and this is the first question okay the average sum of the voltage in any closed path of the network is equal to these are the option now come to the solution we note according to Kripchop voltage loop, the voltage uh, of element any element in the uh, closed path is measured by the multimeter edge we have seen on the uh, in the figure. Okay, then the total voltage of this closed path is equal to zero according to crypto voltage law. Okay, so the answer is two. Now come to the question number two. The minimum number of watt meter required to measure the three phase power is minimum number of watt meter required that is two for the unbalanced and balanced both load okay for the balanced load minimum number of watt meter required that is one we can use one watt meter to uh, study the um, balance power okay but the unbalanced or both uh, balance both unbalanced and um, balance power measured by the two watt meter method okay now so the answer is two now come to the question number third in maximum power transfer theorem the electrical resistance uh, the internal resistance must be uh, equal to these are the option now come to the solution in electrical engineering the maximum power transfer theorem state that to obtain the maximum external power from the source we with a finite internal resistance, the resistance of the load must be equal to the resistance of the source as viewed from the output terminal. Okay, this is the load resistance and this is the input resistance. So these are must be equal to each other. Okay, so the answer is third. Now come to the question number four. A specific resistance of material is measured in. Now this is the material, okay, and resistance is rho L upon A, where the uh, rho is the one, uh, R is the ohm. In ohm, A is meter square, then L is meter, then the ohm meter. That is statement one, option one. At question number five, at equals to zero plus time, an inductor with zero initial condition act as a. Now come to the solution. This is the element of uh, inductor at equals to zero due to the uh, at t equals to zero, it behaves like an open circuit because it is starting. There is no current in the uh, inductor, so it is behaves like an open circuit. Okay, at t equals to infinite, it behaves like a short circuit. So the answer is third, open, open circuit. That is first option. 
Now come to the question number six. The Laplace transform of E A T is now E A T is the uh, Laplace transform of E A T is one upon one minus s. But now we apply the shifting property. Then uh, the Laplace Laplace transform of T A T that is one upon s minus a of whole square. Okay, so the answer is. Third. Now come to the question number seven. In two watt meter method, the power measurement when the power factor is unity, the reading of two watt meter W1 and W2 are. These are the option. Now come to the solution. We know that at unity power factor, the reading of watt meter watt meters that is positive and positive and both are equal at unity power factor. And these are the different different power factor for the different different reading. Okay. So the <coughs> answer is third. Now. Let uh, the B is the branch, N is the node, the graph of the network theory. Then uh, number of cores equal to. There is. Now come to the solution. Now we know that total number of branch B equals to T plus link. That link that is code. Okay. Now we know that T equals to N minus one. So now the branch equals to N minus one plus L. Okay, so the L is L become B minus N plus one. Okay, so the answer is two. Now come to the question number nine. The reciprocity reciprocity theorem is applicable for only for multi-source network, multi-source with time varying element. And these are the option. Now come to the solution. We note before going to solve this problem, we have to understand is understand that what is reciprocity reciprocity theorem. <coughs> Sorry, so this is the voltage source, and this make effect on the R2, R1, and R3. And here the current is flowing R3. Okay, if the voltage source is change its position from uh, here to there, then the current in the R1, R2, and R3 is not change. Okay, so the, this circuit is reciprocal. Okay, so the theorem, this theorem is known as reciprocity theorem. Okay. So it is happened only in single source network. Okay, so the answer is third. Now come to the question number ten. The frequency at which the series R and C circuit resonant is dependent on the value of. Now this is the simple question. That is L C. The phase angle between the inductor current and applied voltage is. The, we know that uh, uh, inductor current is leg by 90 degrees, so the angle is 90. The power two three V L I L cos phi is the power expression for the three phase system. Then the phase angle phi is the angle between the. This is the simple question. Okay, so the phase angle and phase current. Okay, now come to the question number thirteen. If the source is relieving the maximum power to the load, then the efficiency is. We know that the it is maximum power theorem. Okay, when the internal resistance is equal to load resistance, then it provides the maximum power. At maximum power, uh, these uh, resistances are equal, and the efficiency at that point that is 50%. So the answer is four. A 10 ampere source is connected across two par parallel resistors that is 3 ohm and 2 ohm. Then the current flowing in the 2 ohm resistor that is. So the by applying the current division law. Rule we get six ampere. So the answer is first for the RL circuit R equals to this and L equals to this. Then the connect uh, connected across 220-50 hertz supply. Then the quality factor. This is the simple question. That is omega upon R. That is 2 pi F. That is R. So the Q equals to 100. That is option B. Now come to the question number 16. A dielectric medium medium is said to be linear if A dielectric medium is said to be linear when the is independent of end, and the medium is homogeneous if the is also independent of space coordinate. Okay, a linear homogeneous and isotropic medium is called simple medium, and for such medium the relative permittivity is constant. Okay, so it is. Dielectric medium is said to be constant if uh, if it is a not a function of force because the function uh, if it is becomes a function of force then mm, it's change. So uh, the option is first. 
Maximum complication number 17. By saying that electrostatic field is conservative, we do not mean that. Now come to the solution. The conservative field. The conservative 